What is up everyone? Welcome back for another video. Today we're going to be opening up a Tepic Gumpra set that I found in a shop recently. I actually just opened up a Bulbasaur and I thought, you know what? I want to get more of these. And I saw that this Tepic was really cheap. It was like two bucks. So I had to buy it and we're going to put it together today. So let's take a look. <laughs> Hey everyone, so welcome back for another video. Like I say, we're going to be opening up this Tepic Gumpra kind of set, and this is really cool. I found it was reduced down from 715 yen to 300 yen, and I just could not say no. Recently, I actually opened up a Bulbasaur, which looks really, really cool. This is the Bulbasaur right here. But yeah, we're going to open up this one today, and this Tepic looks pretty cool and pretty cute. You can actually see it standing with Score Bunny there. So yeah, let's open it up and see what we've got. I think this says it has 20 pieces. And I'm curious to see if this one is just as easy to put together as the previous one. Now, as you can see inside, we have all of the instructions, lay instructions, as well as two. Very loud. As well as these two here, basically with all the little pieces so we can put it together. And following the instructions, because I think it's important to, we're going to go piece by piece and take a look to see what goes in what order. So we will start off with A216 and A217. So this is the A2 sheet. Where is A216? 14, 14, 16, which is you. And the cool thing is they just snap out. They kind of click. 16 and 17, which is you. Okay. 16 and 17, off you come. Come on, off your truck. There we go. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. All right, and I'm going to guess that these two pieces here, they go together like so. Is that correct? Is that right? Oh, very nice. Okay. All right. We've got probably, oh, the head. Oh, it's the head. Ah, okay. Very cool. There's the head. And then we also need A12. There's some stickers here. I just noticed. So A12, A12, which is you. This looks like it's the top of the head. So we will put this one on as well. So that will go in like so. So there's a little slot there, so boop. very, very nice. Okay, that's cool. And then next up, we need A213. A213 is the snout. So this is snow, not snow, right? This is Tepic snout. So we want to put this in like this. There we go. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That actually looks really cool. Wow, that's quite, it's quite nice. <laughs> okay, and then we need to have A11, A13, and A14. Okay, A11 which is this one here. So these are the ears. Okay, bring those off. A13, which is another part of the ear. And A14, which is another part of the ear. All right, pull those away. And what's cool, I think with these, basically these are supposed to fit on each of these like individually. And I'm gonna guess that this one goes into here. I'm probably wrong. I am 100% wrong because it doesn't fit. <laughs> okay, you're gonna go into here. There we go. Oh, that clicked really nicely. Well, wow, that's not coming back out. And then this one will go into there too. So that didn't click, but it still fits quite nicely. And then this is going to go into the top here. So those two pieces there are going to connect. And in we go. Oh, oh, that's so cool. Wow, okay, very impressed with that. Now, what we need to do as well is we need to put on a couple of stickers and our stickers are here. So we need to put on one, two, and three. So one and two are going to be the eyes. So number one is going over here like so so this eye will go on there there we go so there's one eye then number two is going to go on the other side which is kind of cool too i mean of course these are just eyes so <laughs> when i say it's cool i mean it's it makes sense okay there's eye number two eye, 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 eye. <laughs> all right there's two eyes and then this is going to go on the forehead to give that kind of nice like depth here where its head is so we will put this on like so this is probably going to be the hardest part but we will try our best let's see so you will probably go no see you're already off there that looks right i think that's right so hold on i'm trying to do it so it doesn't kind of go weird so it looks odd right now but basically once we pushed it down and uh we push these pieces here together come on come on come on oh no oh no okay with a bit of finagling i got it on there a little bit it looks kind of okay <laughs> not the best but maybe they should have had a yellow piece there i think that would have looked a little bit nicer but printing these with yellow 
maybe would be tough. I don't know. Anyway, that is the head, so we'll put that to one side for now. Next up, we need to start working on the body. So we need A218 and A219. So this is the A1 sheet. So we want A218 is here. There we go. And A219 is here. Very cool. Okay, and these two look like they go together very, very simply like so. I'm going to guess. Boop. There we go. Okay, so we've got like part of a backside of her body. And then we need A17 and A18. So these are... Nope, that's A2 still. A17, A18. Where's it? Oh, there we go. So we want these little kind of hooves. One and two. Put those to one side. And these have... And the cool thing is actually they have like specific locations. So they've got different sizes. So this one here, clearly, because it's got that indent, it's going to go into this one, like so. Oh, very, oh, so cool. Okay, and then this one is going to go into this one. All right, very nice. Wow, I'm very simple-minded. <laughs> I get entertained by the littlest things. And it does also say that seal number four should go on these little holes there. So we're going to take these two tiny little black dots off and just fill in these gaps. So there is one. Okay, oh, okay, there we go. And then here is number two. So we'll just get that one off as well. I hope you guys are enjoying these. If not, please do let me know because I will probably just stop. <laughs> I'm enjoying putting them together. I mean, eventually it'd be nice to get like a full collection. Okay, we've got one sticker left. It's that little pink one. And if you've got other ways that you think I could do these probably better, then please also let me know too. Okay, number three from A1. So A1 is this one. We want to get number five and six, I think. No, first off, we want number... Oh, we need number five, six, and 20. Okay, so this one here is number five. So we'll take this one off. Here is number six. So we'll take this one off as well. And number 20, I think, is on A2. Oh, interesting. Okay. So A2, number 20. This tail here, this is going to come off like so. And I believe what the instructions are trying to tell me is on the A16, so this one, this point here basically has to go in like so, so that you can actually move the tail around. Oh, that's pretty cool. And then we can close it off with this piece here. So we close it like so. Oh, nice. Oh, we can wag its tail. Oh, that's pretty cool. And I'm going to guess, I'm going to guess it goes in like so, like that. I mean, I haven't actually checked the instructions that far yet, but I'm going to guess so. And apparently on the tail, these two here, these are going to go over the end of that tail. So A14 and A15. Pretty cool. So I think A14 goes on first, which is the one I've just pulled off. So like so, kind of in like that. And this one's going to go on top. So I'll put that down again like that too. Okay. And I think the pink sticker basically is just to go on the end there. Is that right? I think it might be. Let me double check. Yeah. So the final sticker is to go basically into that little kind of hole there. So we will pull this out and cover this up. Cover. Cover, cover this up. There we go. Okay, all right, that's pretty cool. Okay, oh, very nice, very nice. Okay, so we are getting there. Finally, we need to put on, I think that's a dead sheet now. Okay, excellent. Okay, we need to put on basically this last thing here, which are the legs. So I'm gonna say that A9 and 10 go together, like these two here. And the cool thing is, if you miss, like mix, like mix them up and you don't know which one goes where, they basically only fit into the corresponding ones. So even if you lose your instructions or your kid has taken all these out or you just, you've kind of started and stopped, at least that way you can still put it together. But this one here then goes in like so. So there we go. And then these are gonna go into each side. There are interestingly different size circles here. What are those for? Is there any purpose on those? No, no purpose whatsoever interesting okay so this one here is going in here so there we go oh it's adorable and then this one is going to go into here like so and then finally the head is going to clip into here because there is like a little ball joint so we'll put that in there and there we go we have our tepig oh that's so cool and his head kind of wobbles slightly 
but its tail also moves as well. So yeah, this is pretty nice and very, very well thought out. The problem is with this one, there are a few little breaks and a few little gaps, but I mean, that is what it is, right? So there is our Tepig. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this opening and putting it together. If you did, please let me know below. If you didn't, actually, it would be nice to hear as well, like what you didn't like and what we could improve if we were to do more of these because I'm, I'm enjoying it. I am enjoying opening them. But I love you all, and I'll see you all very soon for more content on Bob's Japan. Okay, bye! Bye-bye! Yeah, it's pretty cool. I like the little nose. Look at that. That's adorable. Ah, uh, yeah, there's a butt. <laughs> there's a big old butt. All right, see you next time.